For the first time ever, the South Dakota State Capitol, a resolution for impeachment was read on the House floor. Well, it comes one day after the governor called for Attorney General Jason Roundsburg's resignation. In an unusual move, the South Dakota Highway Patrol released three hours of interviews between detectives and Roundsburg. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at how investigators pressed the attorney general to give them more information about what happened the night he hit and killed Joe Beaver. North Dakota Bureau of Criminal Investigation special agents interviewed Roundsburg two days after the crash on September 14th and a second interview 16 days later on September 30th. Roundsburg has insisted all along that his car was in the driving lane of Highway 14, but investigators say the evidence says otherwise. During this interview, they pressed him on it. One of the other things that we know, Jason, is you weren't in the middle of the road. You were on the shoulder. And I know it happens fast because it's happened to me. We have three people putting him next to the grass. So we knew something was happening. I mean, you're a smart man. You know, we're, Joe and I have done this job a long time. We know what the evidence is going to show us, what the evidence does show us. I don't remember. I remember being in the road, but you know, you'll show me what the evidence shows. Joe Beaver was carrying a flashlight that night as he walked along Highway 14 near Highmore. Investigators say they found it next to his body the following day. It was still on and shining just inches from the road. Investigators thought it was odd that Roundsburg did not see the light the night of the crash. After the crash, did you see that light in the dark? Because it's pitch dark, you'd, if there's something glowing, right? You would, it would make sense for you to see it, right? I did not see any light, no. Are you certain? I am absolutely certain. Just because, Jason, we went out there another right. night with that flashlight um, recently uh -huh. and put it back in the same spot it was in okay. with it back on. Uh -huh. And it, it's hard to miss. I mean, it truly is hard to miss when you're out there, especially if you're walking back towards Highmore. And Joe Beaver's glasses ended up in Roundsburg's car. They were broken in two pieces, half on the floor, the passenger side. The other portion ended up in the back seat. Right. His glasses are right there. Jason, those are Joe's. I did, those, those. I did not see the glass until you saw it. You showed it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh. So the only way for them to get there is through the windshield. Wow. At the impact, did you look over and see anything? I did not see anything. I mean, it just, it was, again, I, I then was looking to, to get to the side. I did not see anything. No. Absolutely not. You know, not. It shattered, and I probably cringed or something, but I was just trying to get it to the side. I did not see him. I did not know there was a human until the next day. As the second interview wrapped up an hour later, Roundsburg once again reiterated that he did not know that he had hit a man until the next day, and he would go to his grave saying that. Shortly after he was charged with three misdemeanors last week for the crash, a spokesman for Ravens, or excuse me, Roundsburg said that the attorney general had no plans to resign. And at this point, lawmakers have not released a timeline for the impeachment process.